Hi guys, welcome to the party. I'm Jody, your toy lady for the event. And um, I know a lot of you are interested in seeing family games and toys and stuff that you can do with um, all the different kids in your family of different ages. So I have a bunch here that I want to show you. Okay, got a bunch of my favorites out here on the table. So this first one is Stacking Owls. And um, you can see right away it's a great toy for little kids because it has colors, it has numbers. Um, so you can use it for learning to count, learning to add, um, doing patterns. <clears throat> but it's also great for older kids because it's a building toy and it teaches so much about balance. Um, you can make a tons of different fun um, uh, formations with your owls and get really creative and I have had older kids just go crazy over these at my booth so and those are really fun for all ages and they, they are 100% wood, beautiful quality. Okay, Hexacus is another one that like you look at it and you can tell it's a good one for little kids um, with the colors and the stacking. Um, it's made of plastic, um, so it's it's safe for littles to chew on and to play with and to throw around. But this one is fun even for adults because it has so many different things that you can try to make um, with the form like different formations, and it gets really challenging. So this is one that is so great for really every age. Uh, Pentominoes is another one like that. <clears throat> it's not going to be for little tiny kids because it has smaller pieces. But again, it's you know it has all of these plastic like um, Tetris pieces that you can create um, different formations with, and it starts with 2D things for the younger kids to make, and then works up to really complex 3D images for them to try to create. <clears throat> that one is Pentominoes. Mental Blocks again. We have so many of these great building thinking puzzle games. <clears throat> this one comes with all of these different shapes with different colors and patterns on them. And then it has cards that pro progressively get harder. So it starts out really easy and it asks you um, to create the picture or copy the picture that it has on the card and then also ask you questions about them like what attribute do all of these blocks have in common? And then here's one in the middle. Oh, Rearrange the blocks to make f two five block towers with the pyramids on the top. So you can see it's getting more and more complicated. Just stacking them up and following the directions then we have Mosaic Mysteries. This is one of my top, top favorite. This is the Heirloom Edition. <clears throat> and this is beautiful even for like, you know, grandma and grandpa's house. It's wooden, um, it's two-sided, so that makes it extra complicated um, or extra layer of difficulty. Um, and it has, again, all of these different patterns that you can try to make. Um, and it's starting from easy to harder. And these blocks are actually, you can make 3D things with them too. So littles can play with them just as blocks. Grandmas can play with them by the fireside. <laughs> Love that one. Okay, let's get into some family games. We've got lots of family games. These are my favorites for uh, varying ages. All of our toys have built-in layers of learning. So there are um, different layers of difficulty that you can do um, with each game depending on you know the age levels that you have so for example rhyme out is just a fun card rhyming game um, but on both sides it has a, a harder level and an easier level um, oh sorry the blue is the harder and the yellow is the easier so <clears throat> so you would give the clues, something you send to a friend on his or her birthday, 
someone who watches over prisoners, and something that is difficult. And all of the, the answers rhyme with each other. So you can just give those clues and see if your child can come up with the rhyme. Um, and if they aren't, or if they can't come up with it, or if they're a little bit um, younger, you can give them a hint. All of them rhyme with yard. And so with my little daughter, who's three, four, she just turned four, um, I would say, okay, I would just do one at a time. Okay, something that you send to a friend on his birthday that rhymes with yard. And so then she would come up with card. And for my older ones, I would give them all three, and then if they couldn't get it, then give them the hint. And then on the back side is for adults, and these ones get really hard. So it's really good for lots of different ages. Okay, let's look at Word on the Street, Junior here. It's this long board. Um, this one is so much fun, and it really can get very challenging. <clears throat> but you play it as a team so you can have younger kids with older kids together playing it and so what you do is you have um, well you'll have letter tiles on each letter and one team on one side one team on the other side and then you read the card or one team gets a card something fun and they can make up any word that they want that goes with this card so something fun maybe skating and so then they would move over their tile for each letter to their side and then the next team gets a turn and they'll move their their tiles over this way and once the tiles come off the board then you get to keep them so it gets to be kind of a strategy thing um, but again like they can come up with any word that they want so small younger kids can do it especially if they're on a team with older kids and again there's easier side on this or easier level on this side of the card and a harder um, level on the back side of the card for different ages okay adventures in storyland this is one anybody can do um, there's different variations depending on how you want to play it and the level of your child. Um, but basically, you choose a um, scene card, and there's a whole bunch of different fun scenes for your story. And then you choose an object card, a creature card, and a character card, and you come up with whatever story you want. And again, there's different ways you can go back and forth and create a story together or um, however you want to play it, but that was a really fun, imaginative one. We have tension, kids versus adults. My kids and I love playing this one. So you have this board that you're trying to get, across, get around to the finish, and you have cards that you will put into your little thing here. <clears throat> so again, it has Things a pirate would say, this one is the adult side, so it has um, ones that aren't quite so easy. And then on the kid side, it's pirate things. So that one should be easier for the kids to answer, but on each one there's a few, a few easy and a few difficult um, answers. Anyway, so you'll put it on here, and so the kids, or the adults will ask the kids, to name as many pirate things as they can in a minute and as they name them then you can click this to mark them off and however many they get they can move that many many spaces on here um, and then when it's the adults turn then the kids will ask the adults the question so again we play that in teams so the little kids are on a, on a team with the bigger kids and that helps them feel like they are playing along um, and they can contribute their ideas too. So, um, here is Dragon Dash. <laughs> Another really fun, fun one and this one is a cooperative one. So I love that my three-year-old can play with my nine-year-old and my six-year-old all together on a team. Um, and they're working together and trying to figure out the best way to create this path from this side to the end before the dragons block the path. 
Um, so you'll roll the dice, and it's also good for math because it's teaching you about the grid. You'll roll the dice and you'll get like D4, and you'll have to put your path, path piece on D4. Um, so you build your path, and you figure out together which way your path should go um, before those dragons get you. So another great one for all ages, and I hope this helped you guys, and I'll see you at the party.